All right, look, I hope you've had a chance to actually give it a try, you know, see if you could solve this using a determinant approach. But now let's go ahead and do this together. So look, I'm going to write down our determinant D, and that is equal to, okay? And what we're doing is we're simply taking the coefficients of V1 and V2, okay? So let's write it down. So what do we have? We have 1.35 at an angle of minus 21.8. Uh, our coefficient here is what? It's a minus 0 0.25. Um, over here we have what? A 0 0.25. And then here we have this coefficient, which is a minus 0 0.425 at an angle of 28. Okay? Now, let's, while we're here, let's go ahead and solve this determinant D, all right? And then we'll be able to uh, use Kramer's rule and we'll solve for V1 and V2. All right, so let's look at our determinant. We're going to expand this out. So D is equal to what? Well, it's this times this, isn't it? So let's open up a bracket here so we don't get confused. So this is 1.35 at an angle of minus 21.8, okay? And that is multiplied by this guy over here. I'll put that in a bracket so we don't lose signs. So that's a minus 0 0.425, angle 28. Uh, close that bracket, okay? All right, so it's that times that, okay? That's that times that, and what have we got next? We've got minus that, uh, sorry, minus that times that, isn't it? So that's a minus, isn't it? So I've got a minus and minus, which actually gives me a plus, and so this becomes this times this, which would be what? It would be, I'll open up a little bracket here. Um, I'll put a bigger bracket to enclose that. This is what, 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.25, closing the bracket. All right, let's work with this a little bit. So D is then equal to, all right, so I'm going to perform this operation here. All right, they're in polar form, we can deal with this, okay? So if I multiply this magnitude part by this part over here, what do we get? Um, I'm going to put the minus sign outside and open up a bracket here. What do we have? We have a 0 0.574. And the angle, adding these angles, comes out to be 6.2. We'll close that bracket, okay? Then I've got this times this, so that's a plus. That times that gives me 0 0.0625. All right, what do we do now? Well, we've got to deal with this and add this bit into the real part of this. So we've got to really convert this thing to what? Basically, it's... Um, to convert it to its uh, polar representation, uh, sorry, its rectangular representation. So if I do that, I get D is equal to, um, I'll keep that minus there, I'll open up a bracket, because that angle is very small, this still comes out to be very close to this, which is a minus, I'm sorry, a 0.57, the minus is outside the bracket, and then I've got a, what, a plus J, 0.0, .0 six, two. Again, please check that. Okay, closing that little bracket there. And then I've got my plus, this guy, which is 0 0.0625. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's take this one more step here. Um, so I can simply now add my components together. And so I've got what? I've got a, a real part. Let's talk about the real part over here. Okay. Or rather, let me just expand this out. So I've got, what, a minus 0 0.57. I've got a minus times that gives me a minus J, isn't it? 0 0.062. And then I've got this guy over here, which is a plus 0 0.0625. All right, now I think very clearly we can add that bit to that bit there. All right, so D then is equal to, we've got a minus 0 0.5075, okay? And then I've got my minus J 0 0.062, all right? So just rewriting that for a second, we can say D is equal to a minus, open up a bracket here, that's a 0 0.50. 75 plus J 0 0.062, all right? 
and I'm going to convert this little bit over here into its polar form. And so if I do that, I get D is equal to a minus 0 0.507, and my angle there is a 6.96. All right, so that's D evaluated. So again, please check that. All right, let's see if we can get now the um, D, what I'll call the DV1 uh, determinant, okay? So we'll write that down, DV1, okay? What is that equal to? Well, I'll open up my determinant here. What am I going to do? Well, I'm gonna replace these coefficients here of V1, I'm gonna replace them with these values over here, okay? So it's these values that get replaced with these guys over here. So I have what? A one at an angle of 45, and I have a two sitting there. Then these stay the same, and so I've got a minus 0 0.25, and then I've got this guy over here, which is a minus 0 0.425, and my angle 28 degrees, all right? So it is this determinant now we wish to evaluate. So we can say what? We can say that dv1 is equal to, is that times that, isn't it? So let's do that. That's a, a one at an angle of 45 times, I'll put the minus there because of that minus, times what? This guy here, which is 0 0.425 at an angle of 28, isn't it? And then this times this, well, there's a minus there, isn't there? So it's really a minus that minus. That's two times that, which gives me a plus 0 0.5, doesn't it? Okay, so let's deal with this here. So dv1 is equal to, uh, dealing with this bit over here, we have a minus 0 0.425. And my angle here, dealing with this, just adding together, we have 73 and then I have this plus 0 0.5, right? Okay, converting this now into its rectangular form, I have dv1 is equal to, I'll put the minus on the outside, that's a 0 0.124, please check this, plus my j, and that will be again a 0 0.406, and I'm closing that bracket, plus a 0 0.5. All right, just getting rid of the bracket here, this is then dv1 being equal to a minus, expanding the minus through, that's a minus 0 0.124, isn't it? Okay, minus j, uh, 0 0.406, and then I got my plus a 0 0.5, yep. Okay, so if I look at that, that is really equal to what? It is equal to 0 0.376 minus what? J, 0 0.406. And if I now convert that to its polar representation, I have dv1 being equal to 0 0.55, and my angle here is a 47.2. So now, look, let's look at... Uh, dv2, and we can say that that is equal to, all right, open up my determinant here. What am I going to do here? I'm going to replace the coefficients of v2, aren't I, with these values over here. All right, so what have I got? I've got a 1.35 angle. This is minus 21.8. This coefficient is 0 0.25. All right, and then these are replaced with these, so that's really what? That's a one at an angle of 45, and this guy over here is simply a two, isn't it? All right, there we are. So we're gonna expand this guy out. So it's that times that minus that times that. All right, so dv2 then is equal to, um, that times that is 1.35 angle minus 21.8, that's multiplied by two, isn't it? Then that's a minus, this times this, so this is a 0 0.25. Uh, that is multiplied by one at an angle of 45, okay? So let's work with this a little bit more. That is equal to what? That is equal to, that times that is a 2.7. My angle there is a minus 21.8, okay? Then I've got a minus 
well, that's just a one, isn't it? One times that, so that's just a 0 0.25, and my angle is, what, 45. Okay, so what I've got to do is convert this guy, what, to rectangular, this guy to rectangular here, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, and again, please check me. This bit converted is, what, 2.5 uh, minus J1, and then this is a minus, I'm going to put a bracket here, I'm going to convert this bit. If I convert this bit to its rectangular, this comes out to be 0 0.176, and that's a plus J 0 0.176. Okay, closing the bracket. All right, just opening this up now, we can say that we've got, what, 2.5 minus J1, and then this is a minus 0 0.176, a minus times that means that's a minus, that's a J 0 0.176, isn't it? Okay, collecting my terms together then, I've got that, we, that my DV2 is equal to what? It's equal to 2.324 minus a J dealing with this 1.176. Okay, and so if I want to write this now in its uh, polar form, dV2 is equal to 2.6, and my angle there is a twig, or rather a minus 26.84. All right, having found D, dV1, dV2, let's use Kramer's rule to find V1 and V2. So we can say that V1 is equal to dV1 divided by D. All right, so what is that? That is going to be equal to 0 0.55 angle. My angle here is what? It's a 47.2, and that's divided by D, which is this minus 0 0.507. My angle there is a 6.96. All right, if I work this out, this gives me V1 being equal to a minus, that's a 1.08, and my angle there is a 40.24, okay? So that's the value for V1. V2 is equal to dV2 over D, okay, which is equal to, this is dV2, so that is what, 2.6, my angle is a minus 26.84, and that's divided by a minus, which is D, 0 0.507. My angle there, 6.96. And if I work this guy out, that comes out to a minus 5.13 at an angle of minus 33.8, okay? So look, we've been able to solve what I would say is a reasonably complex problem using a determinate approach. And I think you'll find that that approach, once you get used to it, is a pretty straightforward way to go. All right, so please check this and I'll see you next time.